tadpoles are rapidly developing and many of them are beginning to get their front legs. Let's take a closer look. So when I checked in on the tadpoles this morning, I found this little guy climbing up the sides of the tank. You can see it has its front legs now. They probably only emerged recently, as it still has its long tail. Over the next few days that will shrink and he'll be a little froglet. But he's not the only one. We have two or three more that have front legs and several more that will get them soon. We even have one tadpole with one front leg, the other is still to emerge. So what's the process that tadpoles go through as this change is happening? The front legs actually develop at the same time as the back, but they just remain under the skin as they grow and will emerge later, elbows first. Here we have a great close-up view of a tadpole on the verge of getting its front legs. If you look carefully, you can see them moving around under the skin. I was hoping to catch them popping out on camera, but I wasn't that lucky. Once the front legs have emerged, the tail will begin to shrink and be reabsorbed into the body. This will only take around two or three days for the tail to completely disappear. During this time, the little froglet will stop eating. It uses its tail as an energy source. Also, by this time, the little froglet's lungs will be fully functional and it can no longer use its gills as they have now disappeared. The little frog will now spend most of the time out of the water. It is now a very good time to put a lid on the tank. As you saw from the beginning of the video, they are very good at climbing the glass sides. This lid is one I've made by drilling lots of holes into a piece of plastic. Ideally, you'll have one that's made to fit your tank, with plenty of ventilation but no gaps the frogs could squeeze through. Frogs are great at escaping. So let's talk about feeding them at this stage. I have tadpoles at all stages of development and so I need to provide food for all of them. I'm going to try something different for the tadpoles. I saw a YouTube video someone showed me that they fed their tadpoles with boiled fish and so I wanted to see if my tadpoles would eat that. But the biggest challenge I now face is feeding the frogs as they emerge from the water. This is the hardest stage to feed them as they now require live food. The food has to move or the frogs won't see it. When they first emerge they are very small so they need small food. Aphids are ideal. If you're not comfortable feeding them live food or you're unable to find suitable food from your garden now is probably a good time to release them back into that pond. So I want to make sure there is enough food for every single tadpole and little froglet uh, to last over the weekend. So a little bit of a challenge because there are three, three different types of food I need to feed them. Spinach leaves, I'm going to put the fish in there and also I need some aphids for the little frogs once they emerge. I found uh, this leaf here which is uh, covered in little aphids. Now this is part of a stinging nettle. Now I'm not sure whether frogs can get stung by nettles or not. I don't really want to risk it. I don't really want to put a stinging nettle in there. So what I'm going to try and do, I have no idea whether this is going to work or not, is try and knock off as many of these little aphids as possible. Put them onto this spinach leaf and uh, at least they have something there which they might want to latch onto. Uh, this ant I'm going to get rid of because I've tried feeding uh, frogs ants before they don't like them. They go for them but uh, well, they, they don't taste right or whatever they normally end up spitting them out so we can ignore this ant. Uh, but these aphids there's a lot on here that should last them any that will want to eat um, there's loads on here but whether I can get them off here and onto here that's a different matter but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, here's the finished product. I've got loads of that I've knocked off in this uh, dish, whether you can see that very well. And I've tried to knock off as many as I can onto this leaf. I'm going to uh, put this leaf in, and then I'm going to try and knock these off, so at least they're in there as well. So that should give plenty of grubs for the frogs to eat, should they require any food. Okay, so here we have the three different types of food. We have the spinach leaf over here that's being eaten by a tadpole there. Uh, we have a couple of bits of fish. There's a bit down here which is uh, being pecked at by uh, one of the tadpoles. And then over here, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see these, but we have lots of the aphids 
a little green fly all around this area so if any frogs do emerge and become hungry like this one here uh, may well need to eat over the next day or two there should be something for them to eat to keep them going until I can feed them again on Monday uh, as for the rest of them well they should all have something they need to eat or should they get hungry the fish proven popular with the tadpoles and the water louse has come over to see as well So to finish off the video I wanted to give you a quick update on the damselflies we saw last week. Here we have a mating pair. The male is the one in front. He is gripping the female's thorax with a special appendage on the end of his abdomen. They will spend several days like this while they assess each other. It's been found that the females will reject a male if his appendage doesn't fit the grooves on her thorax. Well that's all for this week. As always I want to thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section down below and I'll hope you join me again next week as more of our tadpoles will become frogs. I'll see you next week.